What's up, guy and girl players of WoW? Taro here, bringing you a vid on how to do the Pilgrim's Bounty Achievements. For more free guides, subscribe and visit my website at tarowowguides.com. Hey everyone, I just wanted to quickly say thank you for all your support in helping me reach 200 videos on my YouTube channel. I do all of this for you guys and girls and hope to do another 200 successful videos and beyond. Mad Hearts. This year's Pilgrim's Bounty began November 20th and ends November 26th, early morning. This is a pretty easy holiday achievement and worth doing whether you're looking to finish your What a Long Strange Trip It's Been meta achievement, if you're wanting to snag a plump turkey, the Pilgrim title, or if you're just bored looking for something fun to do. To get started, look at which achievements you haven't done and try to focus on them first. I'll use a character that has zero achievements and guide you through the whole holiday quest line and achievements. First up, talk to a commoner in any major city and then head to Undercity if you're Horde or just outside of Stormwind if you're Alliance. Once in Undercity, turn in the quest from the commoner and grab all the quests in the ruins. Start by sitting at any of the tables and eating the food for that chair five times. Then pass the food and move on to the next chair. Eat five times again and then pass the food. Keep doing that until you've eaten at every chair. You should get the quest completed called Sharing a Bountiful Feast and the achievement Sharing is Caring. Next you'll want to see the Pilgrim's Bounty Vendor and buy the cookbook. Click the cookbook and inside it'll have five recipes which you need to complete quests and achievements. Learn them all. Then start by buying 220 Ottoman herbs, 350 honey, 90 simple flour, 90 mild spices, and 85 ripe tears full pumpkin. After you get all your supplies from Undercity, make 90 spice bread to get started. What's awesome about this holiday is you'll be able to level up cooking very easily and cheap. After you reach skill level 50 in cooking, see the trainer and learn journeyman cooking and continue on making spice bread. Once you get all 90 made, make 90 spice bread stuffing. Don't forget to save making 5 for later since you need to actually make them when you have the quest. This should get you to over 100 in cooking skills so now you can learn the pumpkin pie recipe. Next make 85 pumpkin pies. When reaching cooking skill 125, talk to the trainer again and learn expert cooking. Then continue on making pumpkin pies until you've reached 80. Then stop for a second, turn in spice bread stuffing and grab pumpkin pie quest. Finally make the last pumpkin pies which should get you around cooking skill level 170 or so. You'll then want to learn the cranberry chutney recipe. At this point you won't have any mats to continue leveling so instead we'll just head outside into Tearsful Glades to get the Turkinator achievement completed while collecting turkeys for another quest. Just run through the land killing turkeys and looting as you go. You have 30 seconds between turkeys to loot them and find another turkey so you can continue stacking the buff. Don't be afraid to mount, it definitely will help you. This is extremely easy, especially during non-peak times. Once you reach 40 stacks, you'll get your Turkinator achievement. Keep killing turkeys though until you loot 45 turkeys. Oh, and if you want to make a macro like slash tar or slash target wild turkey, it might help you. Next, hearth to Orgrimmar and head outside to Duratar where the Bountiful Feast tables are located. Once there, turn in the quest Pumpkin Pie and grab the quest Cranberry Chutney can't get enough turkey, and don't forget the stuffing. Since we already made the stuffing, turn that one in and choose any item except for the boots. We're going to need a pilgrim's hat and either a pilgrim's attire, dress, or robe, and um, I'll pick the hat. After that, buy 90 tangy South Fury cranberries and make 90 cranberry chutneys. When you hit over cooking skill level 200, see the trainer and learn artisan cooking. Then continue on making cranberry chutney until you've made about 90. This should get to around cooking skill level 234, so learn the candied sweet potato recipe. One of the mats for this is only sold at the Pilgrim Bounty Feast um, area in Thunderbluff, so fly over there or get a port. Remember to sit at a bountiful table and get the Spirit of Sharing buff for the Pilgrim's Pouch achievement before going to Thunderbluff. Once in Thunderbluff, just fly over to the elevators and you'll see all the Bountiful Feast tables. Talk to Dokin and turn in Cranberry Chutney. He'll give you another quest called Candid Sweet Potatoes, so grab that and head over to Mahara, who will give you the quest Easy as Pie. We already made the pie, so just turn it in and pick a reward. I'll go with uh, Pilgrim's Robes this time. 
Next, we'll open up our cooking panel and make 85 candied sweet potatoes. When you get to cooking skill level 275 or more, talk to Mahara again, entering master cooking. Then keep making candied sweet potatoes, which will gray out at 295. You can then learn the last Pilgrim's Bounty holiday recipe, slow roasted turkey. This is a good time to mention the food fight achievement. Whenever you're at any of the bountiful tables, no matter the zone, and you see another player at the table, target them and start passing food their way. After a few passes, you'll start throwing it and get the food fight achievement. Finally, when sitting at a bountiful table, get the spirit of sharing buff for the Pilgrim's Pouch achievement and hearth back or port back to Orgrimmar. Fly out to Durtar and turn in candied sweet potatoes. Then grab the quest Undersupplied in the Undercity. Next, cook up 40 slow roasted turkeys even though you have 45. This will give you the now we're cooking achievement for cooking all the different types of food. You need to save 5 for doing a quest later on. As of right now, you can really make as many as you like since this item is bugged and even though it's supposed to gray out and not give skill points past like 330, it's giving skill points beyond that and a crazy 2 at a time. Enjoy it until it's hot fixed. At cooking level 350 or more, learn Grandmaster Cooking and all the recipes available. Then turn in Can't Get Enough Turkey and choose a turkey shooter. You'll need these for a later achievement. Okay, so next, Telly or take a Zep to Undercity. And once there, turn in We're Out of Cranberry Chutney again, pick a turkey shooter, and then turn in Undersupplied in the Undercity and grab Slow Roasted Turkey. Then turn in She Says Potato and pick a turkey shooter for the reward. Nice. You'll also get the Pilgrim's Progress achievement for doing all the holiday quests. Next, head to the orb and telly to Silvermoon. Head out the front door and find the Bountiful Feast tables and get the Spirit of Sharing buff for the Pilgrim's Pounch achievement. Now hearth or port back to Org once again then fly out to Duratar. In Duratar, make 5 slow roasted turkeys. Wow, I'm loving how slow roasted turkey is bugged in a good way and it looks like we got 2 points for each turkey we made for quite a while, but at cooking skill level 405 it starts to give only 1 point for each one and at 430 it maxed out. Are you seeing this? Not bad, huh? Some nice pretty much free levels for cooking. Hell, we went from 1 to 430 just by making the pilgrim bounty stuff. Pretty awesome and now to turn in slow roasted turkey. Alright, so now that all that is done, you should have 60 of all foods except for the turkey, 3 turkey shooters, a pilgrim's hat, and a pilgrim's robe, dress, or attire. To get the other turkey shooters that you need for turkey lurkey, just do the dailies and uh, use the food that's left over. Probably the hardest achievement to complete for the pilgrim's bounty holiday is the turkey lurkey. You'll have to shoot 8 different race rogues, which can be hard to find. You'll need a turkey shooter for each rogue you shoot and you should have three after completing all the quests on your first day. After that, you'll need to do dailies to get more. Start by shooting all the rogues in your major capital city and then either try like battlegrounds or enemy cities for the others. Having a friend make a level one for you to shoot can make this achievement even easier. Another achievement for this holiday is Terracar Turkey Time. You'll have to go to the Outlands for this, so get a port to Shatrath or go to the portal trainer in a major city, use the Blasted Lands portal, go through the Dark portal, and use the Flight Master to fly to Terracar. After you land, go to Sethic Halls, and if you want a chance at the Raven Lord Mount, set it to Heroic. Also, if you can, ask a friend who is a rogue or a druid to come with you. Since we're overpowered 85s now, it's a joke to stealth the Anzu and kill him. After he's dead, make sure you and your friend have your Pilgrim's hat and Pilgrim's attire dress or robe on. Then pull the Talon King Ickis and own him. Once he dies, you and your friend should get the achievement, even if you are sitting at the front of the instance, AFK grabbing some cookies. Mmm, cookies. Let's see, next we'll do Pilgrim's Peril. It's pretty easy. Just um, hearth back to Org and fly to Felwood. Fly from Felwood across the ocean to Darnassus. Don't worry, you won't die from fatigue. Uh, when you reach Darnassus, you can take the portal into the middle of the city, but it's just as easy to fly up into Teldrassil. The Bountiful Feast Tables are located at the east side of Darnassus. After you find them, make sure that you have um, a pilgrim's dress, robe, or attire on, and sit down in any chair to get credit. You don't have to eat anything, which is good since you've probably eaten too much as it is. 
Next, fly back to the dock and take the boat over to the Exodar. Since Exodar is part of the Burning Crusade expansion, the ocean has an invisible wall preventing you from just like flying there. I'm a noob and forgot about this, so I enjoyed a fatigued death. Just take the boat. Once in Azure Mist Isle, head to the east side of the Exodar, sit at a table, get credit for the achievement, and hearth back to Org. In Org, take the Zep to uh, Gromgol and fly north through Stranglethorn, Duskwood, and then Elwyn Forest until you get to the front entrance of Stormwind. Then just fly down to a bountiful feast table on the outskirts, sit down in a chair, and fly out of there before you get rocked. Picking an off-peak time will help ensure you don't get killed. Finally, we'll do Ironforge. Either take the tram or fly north to the front of Ironforge. Pick the table on the south edge, take a seat, and complete the Pilgrim's Peril achievement. Oh, and the guards here are pretty close, so expect to aggro them like I do here. Just run like hell and hearth away afterwards. After a few days, you should get the Turkey Lurkey achievement completed, which will give you the Pilgrim achievement that awards a nice Pilgrim title and a plump turkey pet. Well, that's pretty much it, so grats to all of you on your achievements, title, and pet. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and visit tarawildguides.com for more free wild guides and news. Now go leave a comment telling me what you're doing for Thanksgiving.